This channel is devoted to encouraging its viewers to do it by yourself. Gardening, landscaping, culinary, and other God-given talents create an absolutely invigorating, peaceful, and a uniquely nurturing and holistic lifestyle. Living spaces, large and small, can benefit from these budget-friendly tasks and projects. So take this journey with Ms. Marvin. You have one life to live, so engage in it with passion. Good morning, everybody. It's Ms. Marv out here, and I want to say up front, the first couple of videos that you have seen, or you will see, I was getting myself settled down after having not having made a video in a long, long time. So I'm um, back to myself, <laughs> if you can call it that. And I'm very, very happy, but today, just to get to the point, today we're gonna to be trying to achieve several objectives. The most important is we're gonna be talking about fiercely growing roses in containers, partial sun, shade, or, or raised beds, and I'm gonna be giving you gardening tips and everything about them. We're out here in the sun because you're gonna compare how these roses look with the ones that are going to be in, and that's what they're not gonna be out front of the park, you see. Okay, this is what they look like growing in the sun. And here, by the way, let's look at some wild blood, okay? Oh, oh, well, huh? There are at least a thousand blackberries on there. At least a thousand. And I'm gonna make myself a blackberry pie, a cobbler. Okay, when I snap my finger, we're gonna be in the back. I'm back. Hello everybody, so you beat me back in. I see you're already looking at some things. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk through here all of this is new, putting down the pebbles and the river rocks. Then we put in this bed over here and paint all of this up. I'm going to give you, I want you to look at the roses. This is what roses look like growing. You can see how shady it is, okay? I built this bed up so that in order to enhance the um, soil, that uh, the plants were growing in. And oh, by the way, these particular roses were growing out front. And when they were out front, none of them looked like this. This bed really has been here now for about a year and a half with the roses. Those roses were in extreme sad condition, okay? Now, if you come on around that way, this is one rose right here, but it has yellow dark yellow, almost gold blooms, and then a creamy, uh, creamy type texture to the other roses. And if you look back down this other way, just keep walking, and um, you see the red roses. You see the red roses in here, okay? Now right there, right down, right in front of you, you look at this, these are rhododendrons. And when we talk about um, um, plants, living together harmoniously. And by the way, our word, I'm gonna tell you our word for the day right now. Our word for today is harmoniously. Um, and I'm gonna talk about that. Now, I am here to give you some tips. One of the most important tips that we're gonna talk about, that's why I told you, I wrote it down. We're gonna talk about the mixture, all right? When we're talking about a mixture for a raised bed here, as you can see, we have we have leaves and straw, and a lot of those have composted. We put in cow manure, we put in cow manure compost, we put in regular soil, and I I add I put some, some other additives, like I said before. After the leaves and the compost, um after they kind of did, you know, what you call decayed and everything, that made it better. 
But we're going to talk about the counter fertilizer now. Because for the ones who truly care about what Ms. Marvin's doing. And let me take this hat off. Let me take it. We're in the shade. Mm -hmm. We're in the shade now. So let me take that out. All right. I want you to come around over here. I want you to come around and still see the roses. I want you to come around. And I'm going to, because of, I'm going to tell you something. Because you were so wonderful to me. Over the winter, we had folks in the Carolinas, folks in different parts of the country, north, south, east, and west, when I wasn't even filming anything. You gave comments to some of my other videos that inspired me and caused me to work out here in January, February, and March. Now, because of that, I'm going to give you some special tips. When you talk about rose care, this, and we're going to focus to make sure you see what it is, it's not fast, that, that's one particular thing. I mix in Osmocote. Hold on a minute. Osmocote Plus is not just for roses, it's for other other plants and it's really more organic, but I don't put Miracle Grow anything on my roses. Now, I also use bone meal, okay? I believe in a plant cocktail. So, and not only is this good as a fertilizer, this protects you against insects and different other things. That's what it's good for, okay? Just remember that. Now, as we move on, I want to tell you about, so that's your fertilization. That's what you're going to be throwing around right and get this. I do about a handful. Oh, <laughs> well, sure. You say, how did this Marvel put out her fertilizer? This is what I do. I will get my hands in here. I'll get a handful and I'm going to sprinkle all around. I'm, so I'm glad I got this on. And when it comes to, even for this, even for this one, well, well, forget that for the minute. Uh, <laughs> I tried. But anyway, I pull out a handful and I sprinkle it around the perimeter, not trying to get it on the leaves. Now, let's move on to watering. When you're talking about watering, this is one particular kind of attachment to your hose. And you would think that it would be the best because it looks good. No. This is one particular attachment. And so please look at how I'm watering. Watch how fast the water soaks into the soil. This is another raised bed. The more roses growing in pretty much halfway shade. You can see how fast that water evaporates. Just look at it now. That means that we design the soil so that it doesn't get waterlogged. Roses need a lot of water. That's what I found out. When they were on the, on the front, I'm, I was not watering them right, and that's why I had a whole lot of problems. When you don't water your roses right, you do, will get disease. Now, when we come along here, here's some more roses. And the next thing I'm gonna do is tell you about how to take care of when you see these leaves, different things, and you see me water, this is a tree uh, rose. I planted it in a pot several years ago. A lot of times people say, oh, well, things become root bound. It did get root bound. I had it over there. But I didn't want it over there after I started changing things, so I moved it over here. And so I can move it around. You see me moving it around. And you see how pretty it is. And I can tell you something. Anytime you want to know how rose is doing, you water it and it becomes extremely precious. I'm going to show you how I water in pots. And look at this beauty. You remember seeing this? You remember seeing this in the tour? This one it had birds on it, remember? And I said, oh, it's so beautiful. Well, it's kind of what the pretty is going to be. 
And so this, you know this is shade. Now, later on, you see how I'm watering it. I want you to look down at the saw, how the saw looks. As you can see, listen, you see that? That's mainly uh, straw, leaves, bark. And uh, that's how over here, so it, 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 it emulates natural conditions. This, that's how it, it's going to decay. It decays, and that, and it loves, it loves it out here. It loves, loves, loves it. And so when I water, you see, I'm not just watering and turning it off. I'm watering because when it's blooming and it has buds, it needs more water. Look at the leaves closely. How green they are. Okay, and if you settle down and look lower. see the beautiful blossoms. See? Now. And it's out here coexisting with the ferns. These are king ferns over here. And uh, you saw these before. They love being together. They're living harmoniously together. And which is what we should do. Okay? And uh, what I want to talk about, and, and I water them the way, the way I water water my ferns because of the trees. Like I told you, you can have so-called adverse conditions. And I'll tell you this, if I had gone by the research, folks say you cannot grow them here, I wouldn't have this. So, I just use my intuition. Let's walk, walk down here, come on. Here's another one. And look at this confederate jasmine it's like uh, we used to like call them like honeycomb or something but uh they gonna bloom with white bloom but it's called a confederate jasmine they have different kind of jasmine now look at this one it kind of tried to wait for you a lot of the blossoms blew off but as you can see it is in the what almost full shape but some sun gonna come through maybe for about three hours Snap, I'm back. Rihanna, I mean, anyway, y'all know what I'm trying to achieve. But anyway, we're talking about, I was talking about yin and yang and living harmoniously. And I'm into martial arts uh, movies now. So if you notice that, that I'm at peace with God. And I always remember, we live in abundance because God is our source. And so I'm here to fully accept what it is that God has has uh, asked me to do. And so once you know that God is your source, you will never lack anything in your abundance. Prosperity is not all about material possession. It's about your hidden talents. So that's what Ms. Marv is trying to help you do to achieve that. And once again, okay, let's go with this. I <laughs> talk so much. All right, this is a different kind of attachment. And you see, I was using this one more thinking that that I was giving my my plant the maximum amount of water but it's always a pressure on it and I'm gonna hold it up higher. I the water actually penetrated the ground better with the other one. It actually broke off from something but I got this at a grocery store and everything. At first I thought it wasn't good but hey look so it's good when I think my plants are really young, you don't want to hurt anything. Now, as I'm walking along, and you're getting a chance to see what this is like. Okay, now, moving on. Moving on. I want you to come around here. I want to show you how to take care of your plants if you have something that happens with your leaves. You have insects trying to now, if you water your plants correctly, give them the amount, as we're looking here, you give them the right amount of water, you're gonna, they're gonna smell, but the fragrance is gonna be awesome. After you water your plants, you can actually smell them 
so much more of the aroma of the fragrance in it. Okay, we're gonna start right here. I'm noticing, and please look at these leaves down here. Look at those. Something is attacking. You look up in here. At the time, I didn't give it enough water, so you see that. Now, look at this. This is the only thing that I use. Some people use neem oil. Like I said, I can't tell people what to do. I'm just telling you what Miss Marvin does, what works for me. I'm not a professional. I'm not an expert. I'm someone who, lo who loves gardening and has been done it, doing it since she was like three or four years old. So, like um, <laughs> what Frank Sinatra said, I did it my way, okay? So I did it my way. If I'm going to do it my way, fine. But anyway, let's go. This is what I do. I shake it up. Then, I'm going to spray. And it, and it doesn't bother them. They love it. They do. Because I'm right there. Now, that's how that works. And because and the main thing, like I said, I found that um, when they don't get enough water, that's what happens. Okay? Now, the other thing I want to change is this. And let's, let me walk up here. I'm finishing up. I want you to listen to this. This is my motto. Do your best and let God do the rest. Once you once you absorb that into your body, you're just going to do your very best. Let God do the rest. And I, Now, let's look down right here because I'm going to do this thing the way I want to. This is a raised bed I put together. I'm finishing up now. This is a raised bed I put together for wildflowers. On another show, we're going to see now. When you look at this, those are rhododendrons. The rhododendrons start doing better once I started started uh, watering more. And behind you, you see these are more lilac right here, but the ones behind you are red right there. Okay? Now, they're red. And so, before I go, I didn't mention this. I didn't mention the zucchini over here growing in the shade. And they do get some sun. And uh, I got zucchini, and you look through there, you see the squash. I want to say thank you so much. Ms. Marv appreciates you, and she wants you to live your best life, okay? She wants you to, she wants you to enjoy life and realize once again that God is the source you never lack. And you have an inner spirit inside of you that will grow stronger once you realize that. So, um, love, peace, joy, and happiness. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends, and hit the notifications button. We'll see you again next time.